Hey guys, my name is Stephen Lowe, and I am the author of Overcoming Gravity. So this book right here, the so-called Body Weight Training Bible. Um, basically, I'm starting this series on overcoming gravity online in order to go through the book chapter by chapter. And it's basically going to be a supplemental for those of you who have the book. So there have been a lot of questions throughout the years on um, all the various science related in the book and understanding it and then also how to construct workout routines and programming since that is the probably number one question that most people have with the book and if they're getting stuck with plateaus or um, they're unable to progress that is the, the number one questions that come up with it if you're unfamiliar with my work, you can follow along this series and hopefully you'll learn something as we're going through the book and all the fundamentals of learning how to construct your own workout routine. And if this series interests you, hopefully you can grab a book as well and follow along. There's also going to be some minor discussion of potential science updates. Um, obviously there has been Although some updates since this book has been out several years, um, not a lot, but we'll go through those as well. So before we get started, I just want to put out the disclaimer there. Um, mainly this series is going to be for educational purposes only. Um, I don't know your particular situation in terms of if you need to see a doctor, a physical therapist, or a personal trainer in order to make sure that you're safe to begin exercise and uh, um, other things like uh, nutrition. So uh, make sure that you guys are safe and ready to do exercise. And mainly I'm gonna be talking about all these different things from an education perspective and make sure that you consult the appropriate medical professionals before you begin an exercise routine. So the goal of Overcoming Gravity, uh, the first edition, so th this is the, the first edition here. Um, it didn't accomplish what I wanted it to accomplish uh, compared to the second. And obviously, as you can tell from the book, uh, it uh, has a lot of editing errors and lower quality illustrations. And so I wanted to improve on that to the second edition. And Around that time when I published both, uh, a lot of the information on body weight training was still in the heads of a lot of coaches at the time. And so getting that all out there into a digestible format was important. Um, obviously now with the, the rise of social media and me being on here, um, there has been a lot out there on the various progressions on how to work up to advanced body weight strength movements like front lever, back lever, planche, handstand push-ups, and so on. Uh, however, there still isn't a lot out on good programming to get you there. So that is the importance of the series that I wanted to go through. Um, the main goal of the book has always been based on the proverb or adage, um, give a man fish and feed him for a day. And the goal of the book was to teach a man to fish and feed him for a lifetime. So uh, with the second edition, I believe I have succeeded in that. And we'll come, go from there and learn. And I'll try to be teaching you guys about um, programming to learn more and make sure that you can continue to progress in your routines. So there's five main sections of overcoming gravity. Uh, the first is your fundamental knowledge base. And this section goes over uh, progressive overload, the physiology of strength and hypertrophy, um, the various progression charts that we'll use to progress exercises and set your goals, and then also uh, structural balance of the shoulder mainly, and then um, intro to programming and workout routines and various populations. So understanding all these things can help us to put together a routine a lot better and safer. Um, part two is focused on constructing your workout routine, and that's going over all the components of your workout routine. So your warm up, uh, your skill work, and your strength work, and how to progress that. Um, and then finally, at the end, you usually your isolation, your prehab, um, cool down, and flexibility work. And then also uh, mesocycle planning, which is basically looking at routines through the lens of 
several weeks to several months as opposed to just week to week. Um, part three is other factors that influence training. So uh, some people like to combine their workout routines in order for specific sports or goals. So um, endurance, cardio, cross training, um, how to plan and or avoid overreaching and overtraining, um, health and injury management if you start to get overuse injuries, and then also lifestyle factors, uh, dialing in your sleep, your nutrition, and um, how to make sure that you stay healthy if you get sick and um, are training during that. Uh, part four is based on program implementation. So I go th through various examples of beginners, um, trained beginner, um, intermediate and advanced uh, routines. And I actually use some of the examples that people made themselves uh, from the first edition of Overcoming Gravity and the second one. And then part five is on common body weight training injuries and how to avoid those um, injury and flexibility and prehabilitation uh, resources. And then finally, uh, the last basically half of the book is on the body weight strength progressions. All right, so my history with gymnastics, if you don't know about me, this is how I got into it and why the book was written. Um, so my dad was a part of the Gymkhana troupe, which is an exhibitional troupe that goes uh, that is based at, at the University of Maryland College Park um, since 1946, I believe. And they go around to local area elementary, middle, and high schools promoting a drug and alcohol-free lifestyle. He got into it in the 70s, and the, it's basically a lot of people um, don't have any gymnastics experience. So um, it's pretty cool in that respect where uh, he didn't have any, and so he was able to get into it about half the troop does and half the troop doesn't. And so he got into it, and then he got me into it when I was a kid, and I did it for several years, uh, but eventually ended up quitting. I had a Simone Biles-like experience where I lost my aerial awareness and crashed on both floor and vault, uh, landing on my neck at least one time. And so that kind of freaked me out, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty much done. But um, eventually it started to interest me again, and around uh, 2002... 2000 to 2002, uh, I joined the drillsandskills.com forum, which is one of the first bigger forums on the web about uh, gymnastic skills and learning how to train. And so as I went to college in 2003, I started gaining back a lot of those skills that I had learned early on in gymnastics. But um, the next year, I re started to realize that I actually needed to have some dedicated strength training in order to uh, progress since I had gotten back a lot of my previous skills, but it was hard to progress to um, harder skills from that. So um, around that time, I found uh, Mad Cow's GeoCity site, which was basically a lot on uh, Russian periodization at that time um, from the 70s 60, and 60s. And understanding that in terms of the fatigue and fitness models, and then also um, understanding how to progress from like beginner to intermediate in terms of barbell training. So I started to apply those concepts from barbell training over to my bodyweight training. Um, around that time, I also joined the CrossFit and performance menu slash Catalyst Athletics message boards. And this was before CrossFit got big in about around like 2012, maybe 2013. Um, but at that time, um, when they were small scale, there was actually a lot of coaches in various areas, um, such as gymnastics, track and field, um, and a lot of other sports, Olymp Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, um, getting into the... I guess those fields and we were actually learning a lot from each other um, based on how um, various sports did their strength and conditioning so um, whether you have a you know good idea about CrossFit or not uh, a lot of coaches have been through and learned uh, some from some of the concepts and from each other. Um, after that I started my own blog on Blogspot and then eventually moved to eatmoveimprove.com and that was where I had published uh, my article on how to construct a workout routine for bodyweight strength training 
uh, called the, the Fundamentals of Bodyweight Strength Training in 2010. And uh, I realized that there was a big interest in that because I got over 50,000 hits in the first few months. And so that led to me uh, writing the, the first edition of the, of the book, uh, which was pretty cool. So after that, uh, in the ensuing about five years, um, tons of questions were coming in. And I had started a message board on or subreddit on Reddit at that time and was getting tons of questions. And so eventually that led to the, the second edition of the book um, that I have talked about a little bit for this. Um, so there's no plans on a third edition of the book, but I want to continue to teach. And so that's what this uh, series is going to be based on. So some of my feats of strength, um, I've done uh, your full back lever, front lever. Uh, I've gotten this four strict one arm chains, iron cross. Um, there's a lot of them, but uh, I don't need to go through all of them, but some of the ones I'm, I'm pretty proud of are getting the, the 10 second iron cross. I'm um, getting my dips up to around 140% of my body weight uh, for five reps. So I, around the time that I did the 190 pound dips, I weighed about 140 maybe. Um, so I wanted to get the five plates, but uh, that is very difficult. Uh, so hopefully I'll strive for that in the future. Um, and then um, some other ones like uh, eight freestanding handstand push-ups on rings. Uh, that was a fun one to work on. Um, at my current, I'm mainly climbing, and so I don't do a lot of super dedicated strength training as it's hard to do two things at once. Um, so most of my training is geared towards getting stronger for rock climbing. Um, but I do eventually have some goals that I want to hit otherwise. And finally, uh, some problems my book solve. Obviously, I'm most well known for overcoming gravity, uh, but I've also written a few other books. If you're interested, um, overcoming poor posture and overcoming tendonitis uh, for those of you who are injured or have any issues with posture. And then I also have an ebook out um, on overcoming gravity advanced programming, basically looking at programming from the perspective of intermediates, advanced, and elite training, and how to uh, mitigate fatigue and integrate workouts in terms of progressing. Because normally, uh, as a beginner, you're able to uh, progress your workouts from week to week or workout to workout uh, pretty easily, but progress gets harder as you get more experienced and stronger. And so that's uh, what Overcoming Gravity Advanced Programming looks to solve. Um, and so if you're also interested in some of my other material, I have a lot of articles on my website and on stephenlow.org. And then um, follow me on social media as I'll hopefully be getting a lot more videos out on this series soon. I'm aiming for uh, three a week, so stay tuned for the first video on the first chapter.